Hello YouTube sports card collectors. Today is January 26th of 2020 and this afternoon we found out that NBA legend Kobe Bryant had been killed in a helicopter crash in California um, evidently with his young daughter on the way to a traveling basketball tournament. This was obviously a tragedy and the sports world is reeling and, and everyone sends their thoughts to uh, Kobe's family. Um, and I know that a lot of folks are going to be kind of digging through their Kobe Bryant basketball cards here in the next few days or weeks or so. And while I've always been a Kobe fan from a basketball standpoint, I've never been a huge uh, basketball collector in general, um, but I thought it it might be a good time to look at some of his cards and look at the process that I use to learn about sports cards that I'm not totally familiar with. Um, for the big names, especially, there is a you know a fairly standard set of steps that I I go through that I think you might find valuable and I'll let us reminisce a little bit about Kobe as we go through it. So I just started here with a Google image search um, for Kobe Bryant basketball cards. I can see all these different Lakers cards, the gold and purple blue is everywhere. Um, you can click through to any of the sites you want. But I, like I said, I really don't know a whole lot about Kobe Bryant basketball cards and what's available. So one of the places that I like to go to find out about available cards, particularly for um, Hall of Famers, Legends, and so forth, is the PSA set registry. So PSA, of course, is the, the largest... Um, authenticator and card grader uh, card grading company that's out there and they maintain what they call master sets um, for all of the big names in in sports um, and so um, you can just do a search for whoever you're looking for I'll look for Kobe Bryant So there's the Kobe Bryant master set. There are variations on these, uh, but we'll just go straight with the master set. And then we can click the view set checklist. And basically what this allows uh, collectors to do is to register uh, their accumulation of PSA graded cards with PSA and then PSA kind of ranks them, so we'll go back and we kind of see the the collectors who have the top Kobe Bryant um, sets, if you will, CBH collection, Sammy Wang, Alley Oops, etc. Go to the uh, set checklist, um, and this lists like all of Kobe's cards, at least all of the cards that PSA has graded. Um, you can see. Even through 1996 metal, there's more than 50. I'll expand the showing uh, to a thousand, and that gets us up to what year? Let's see. Gets us up to 2001. You can see there are a couple more pages. So they have 2,368 different Kobe Bryant cards in their database, and so what they do is they list out what the card is. Um, so the, the manufacturer, the actual set, the player's name, Kobe Bryant, the card number, and then the weight. And the weight is basically a, um, a, a measure of scarcity. So the higher the weight, the fewer that PSA has graded. And, you know, depending on demand, likely the more valuable the card is and I think there is a um, PSA registry FAQ Oops, help 
So if I spell FAQ correctly, and it will tell us about all the different things. So our weights. Um, so it's not all cards and tickets have the same value within a set. So they're weighted 1 to 10, with 10 being the rarest and 1 being the most common. So basically what I just said. Um, we can see all the different Kobe's here. And then, you know, if I, if I want to look at some of the particular cards in, in more detail, I can pick out one. Let's pick out one with kind of a, a high weight. So, 1996 Flare Showcase, row zero. I don't want to do the row of things. Um, how about this one? 1996 Skybox EX 2000 Credentials, Kobe Bryant. We'll go back to Google Images and see if we can get a, a picture of that thing. So it appears that it's these cards with Kobe against kind of a, a blue sky with clouds and some different border configurations. There's one that's authenticated. You can see prices here. There's one that's a $15,000 price for a uh, Beckett graded 8. And that's with the I don't know what those would be, silver, platinum borders. Um, and then there's one with more of the green borders for a, a Beckett grade of nine. Um, and if you want to see kind of the current prices, then what I will do is I'll hop over to eBay and I'll put in the same card and let's just see what's available right now. There's probably a lot of Kobe cards that have been listed just this afternoon um, and so here we see this guy with a listing price of 20,000 and the one with the, you know, the green borders at uh, 750 but this one is not graded this one is and if you want to see what people are actually paying then I will switch over to the sold listing. So if you just search the screen, control F and just look for sold. You can click the sold bar and there we see uh, different versions of this Skybox card. There's one that was a Beckett Grading Services 8.5 that sold today for $8,000. Um, it's one that sold for less than that. that sold for the best offer. There is a, so it won't tell you exactly then, eBay won't, what it sold for. It's, it just shows the listing price. However, there is a site called Flipper Tools, I think. And if you go to that site, um, they have like an actual pricing tool, something like that. Actual selling price tool. And if you put in the URL for the item or the item number, it'll pull back the selling price. I assume they're doing this through an eBay API call. So this one, this Kobe sold for, uh, that was an eight and a half, sold for $4,500. Um, back, I think, what did it say? In, December of 19. Mm. To go back to the listings to see that. Yeah, December of 19. Uh, so there you go. There's there's the cards, the Skybox cards for Kobe Bryant that are what they've sold for recently. Um, those prices, of course, are are fluctuating all the time, and you would figure his untimely death will affect the market in, in some way. Uh, if nothing else, it'll bring more uh, more visibility to his cards, probably more action in the marketplace. So anyway, that's, uh, that's just a quick run through of how I go about learning about cards for players whose cards I don't know a whole lot about or sets that I don't know a whole lot about. Um, PSA has 
you know, a full checklist of, of their sets, of various sets, and they, you know, like, whatever, 1970 top supers, um, you know, the Kellogg sets, all kinds of sets that you can think of. You can get the checklist and kind of a, an idea for how many cards have been submitted and how many of each um, grade that, that PSA has assigned to each one. It's a good way to start looking and researching sets of sports cards or players cards uh, that you don't already know a whole lot about or even if you do um, you get a, a good overview and a good start into your research on, on that player or on those cards so one of them just by going back and looking at an overview of uh, Kobe's basketball cards as shows up on Google Images so again, lots and lots of variety over the years with 2,400 some cards. It's not surprising that that is the case. Uh, lots of championships, lots of memories, one of the all-time greats, and obviously gone way too soon. So thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel.